Second is with us, and we've been talking about, uh, we just talked about the, the new renovation coming to the Widowmaker, which is really exciting. And uh, just on a sidebar, we were watching the, uh, the Who band, the Tribute Magic Bus Band. If you like the Who, that is a great band that's playing there. Yeah. Yeah, they sound just like the Who, and they look like them, too. It's pretty good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, you have got a, a, some improvements happening at Caribou Pond. Can you tell us a little yeah, bit? Yeah, um, kind of, you know, it's what's great about the Widowmaker, everybody will see that, but we're also doing some renovations kind of behind the scene for snowmaking. Yeah. And uh, one thing we're looking at or been trying to uh, do is uh, Caribou Pond. I don't know if everybody knows what that is. It's behind the mountain. It's the headwater for the Carabasin River, mm -hmm. where we get all our snowmaking, yep. irrigation for the, and actually drinking water comes out of there too. So famous drinking water. Famous drinking water. <laughs> but we don't really have any kind of um, uh, control over how much water comes down. It just kind I of see. flows when it rains. And there's a steady flow or so. But back in the early 1900s, there was an old earthen dam up there that the loggers used. And it's still up there. The mm. crib works is kind of broken apart and so forth. So we, we're, we're going to go up there and build a new dam, new crib works up there. So we have a, a water supply that we can use, you know, for snow making and drinking water and so forth. Sure. So that's uh, one of the projects we're going to be doing this summer. And then we're also going to create some uh, recreational activities up there, too. You could go up there, mountain bike, hike, and actually have a little boat launch. We can take a canoe out. Oh, and really? That'll be around. good. So trying to develop that area, I don't know if you've been back there, it's beautiful. I haven't, you know, I there hasn't really been a, a, anything yeah, set up, so that's great. Right. It's a big bowl, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere up there, wow. it's really nice. Well, that's great, so some, some new development there. Yep. And uh, let's talk about passes. Next year's passes are on sale, tell us about that. Well, we have a deadline coming up. We already had one deadline, uh, April 30th, mm -hmm. So, uh, and then the price will go up after that. Um, one of the newer passes that we did this year is a nitro pass. So mm -hmm. we were trying to capture the 20-somethings that you know, either go out of co just get out of college, don't have a lot of money, but we want to keep them as skiers. Sure. And then also younger kids who's, uh, you know, from, so the age group is like from 6 to 29. Right. You get that price. And it has some blackout dates, but it's a great value. It's kind of targeted towards a specific audience that you want here, right. which is great. Right. Yeah. It helps the parents with the teenagers, young kids, and then it helps the kids who are just getting into sure. the workforce and don't have a lot of money. There's a, this mountain is is a, is got a lot of pass holders, doesn't it? It does. Um, our total revenue from uh, ski-related tickets and pass holders. So it's almost uh, 60 percent as pass holders. Wow. Compared to Sunday River, which is closer to like 40, and Loon mm -hmm. is probably around 33. So you can see we depend a lot on our pass holders. So we love our pass holders. And sugar loafers are hardcore, aren't they? Yeah, we have a pass holder party. It's uh, two weeks from now. And that will at be the end. at the end. At the end. Yeah. And I understand, I think the Steves are playing, aren't they? They are. Yep. Yeah. Steves are playing, and uh, all the staff will be working. Yes. You, will myself. you be making burgers? I'm, I'll probably be pouring beer or, or wine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, food and beverage. You get you're to qualified. meet more people that way. You're qualified. You'll get to meet more people that way. Everybody <laughs> likes a bartender. <laughs> thanks, Carl. Thanks for being yeah. here. We appreciate it. Thanks for all your hard work as well. And uh, we're very excited about the renovations and keeping us up to date this morning. Thanks. Yeah, we thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Carl Strand. And we're going to take a break. We'll